everyone for people who are returning to watch my video after over a year thank you for coming back to my channel to watch me for people who are new here thank you for stopping by my name is amarachi Nzekwe. i am a nigerian living and working in lithuania and oh my god i haven't posted a video in a year almost a year it feels like ages it feels like i'm starting this afresh i don't even know <laughs> What's the same? Oh yeah. Oh my god. I feel like I'm shining out. Oof. But yeah, um, I have been away for almost a year. I feel like everybody deserves, you know, an explanation, especially people who have been following my journey, who have been following me right from the beginning of my YouTube channel till now. It's it's not right that I disappeared on all of you like that. So I'm going to explain what has been happening with me and all the juicy updates since the last time I posted a video on YouTube. It feels like a lifetime ago because so much has happened. Oh my God, so much has actually happened. So yes, let's just get right into it. So the last time I actually posted a video was on the 28th of February last year and that was the time I unboxed this particular camera that I'm currently using to film this video and the funny thing is that it was almost like after I got this camera all the motivation to film left me you know a lot of times you feel like oh you're not making videos because you don't have the right gear or you know like when you get the great the perfect camera you get the perfect equipment then you know everything will fall into place but guys like I started making my YouTube videos with my phone and I was way more consistent when I was using my phone and now that I have a camera it's just like so exhausting. The last time I made a video was the 28th of February 2021 and this is 29th of January 2022 so it's almost a year. God it feels like a lifetime ago. But yeah what has been happening with me when I started out this channel or maybe when I came back to YouTube and actually started posting content more consistently on YouTube I was living in Kaunas Lithuania I told you guys about you know the program that brought me to Lithuania the digital explorers program I have a video I'll link the video I'll link the video where I talked about it. Digital Explorers program brought me to Lithuania. I was supposed to live and work in Lithuania for one year, after which I would move back to Nigeria and, you know, like somehow, you know, like take all the experiences and everything that I'd learned in Lithuania to a Nigerian company. I also told you guys about how the company I was working for, you know, chose to retain me and make me a more permanent staff in the company. And that was how I eventually, you know, like got a residency permit to start living in Lithuania. Lithuania. Before then, I was on a one-year work permit and then I got this residency permit, you know, that allowed me continue living and working in Lithuania. And that was what? That was in 2020. So since the last time I made a video, I have actually, you know, moved cities. I have changed jobs. I feel like so much has happened. I have moved apartments. <laughs> Yeah, so much has happened you guys. So uh, my last video, I was still living in Kaunas, Lithuania. Um, Kaunas is the second largest city in Lithuania um, after the capital Vilnius. But sometime last year, I moved to Vilnius, Lithuania because I got a new job in Vilnius that, you know, that meant that I had to move to this city. And honestly, <laughs> It's been great. I know that people would want to know which of these cities do I prefer living in Kaunas or Vilnius. Honestly, I would say that I prefer <laughs> Vilnius. At least you guys should not call for me because I know that is a constant battle in Lithuania, you know, like between you know, Kaunas or Vilnius, which one is better. But I want to say that I absolutely enjoyed living in Kaunas. I had an amazing apartment where I, I showed you guys what it looks like. It was affordable, cost of living was really low, life was great. I had flatmates that were great to live with. I had an amazing experience in Kaunas and I just feel like, you know, living in Vilnius is just a completely different experience. Um, I wouldn't say it's better. Ex it's, I wouldn't say it's a better experience for me, interestingly, because it also came with each set of challenges. I moved to Vilnius to live alone for the first time in my life. Like, I have never lived alone before I moved to Vilnius. So I moved to Vilnius in May 2021 and I started living alone. I have been living alone since then. And I can tell you that it hasn't been easy. For someone who grew up in a house where there were always so many people growing up and then even when I came to Lithuania, I had flatmates. So I never really felt alone. I feel like moving to Vilnius was the first time like it started to hit me that, you know, I am 
in a country far away from family and people that you know i've spent most of my life with so that has been happening with me and I also changed apartments of course I mean you would notice that the background that I'm filming in is different from the background I used to film in um, will I do an apartment tour I honestly don't know because obviously I live alone now this apartment is a lot smaller than where I used to live before so I don't know if I should film it I also do not know if I'm comfortable but yeah i have this really great apartment a little bit out of the city center but like you know just a bus away from the city center it's lovely i will still think about doing an apartment or i'm not sure so like this is not a yes or no um answer yeah so um in that time i have in that time i feel like you know i have started living a different life so something I have to mention is that I hit a thousand subscribers, I think in November 2020 or December 2020, I do not remember. And then as of January 2021, I think I was about a thousand one hundred subscribers or a thousand two hundred, I don't remember. But I had just gotten monetized um, in January just before I stopped posting consistently or just before I stopped posting on YouTube. But then I had a lot of issues with my AdSense account being verified. Um, I opened my AdSense account when I was in Nigeria and then I had to verify my account before I started making money and it just happened that you know verifying address like a nigerian address is just like a hassle and because you know my address i couldn't change my country because you can't change your country on adsense except you are verified and you can't verify until you verify your address so it was just like it was just like it was a lot i had to like keep looking for ways to you know like get the pin that is sent in nigeria to verify my address that took a long time honestly that demotivated me because you know i could see ads on my chat i could see ads on my channel but like i wasn't making money from the ads and i just couldn't verify my address and it took a lot of tries before i finally you know like completed the process in august or september last year and then when that happened i'm like oh yeah so i can finally come back to youtube but like i wasn't sure i feel like i had been away for so long and i felt like my comeback had to be top notch you know like i couldn't come back and you know like give you guys the same quality of content it was just a lot of pressure that i put on myself you know for everything to be perfect and as you can see like nothing happened like i didn't post any video i didn't do anything because i was waiting for the perfect time but what happens when you're waiting for perfection is that you're actually not doing anything so there's no way for you to practice to become better and i fell into that hole you know of wanting things to be better and then just realizing that you're not doing anything um i think it's called analysis paralysis so before i knew it you know like six months had gone like almost a year had gone and i hadn't posted anything on youtube and i will tell you guys that there are so many days that i actually started filming content so many if i could like i would probably you know like link everything where i start filming and then maybe i stop or i lose motivation or i say oh this is not good enough i was even going to film the whole process of me changing jobs and going through the immigration process of changing employers me moving to vilnius everything guys that was the plan but i did nothing <laughs> yeah but anyway i hope that is all in the past because i am excited to come back to youtube i'm excited to start giving your content you know back to back i'm excited to start making money again from youtube honestly like i have been monetized for a year now and i haven't made up to a hundred dollars that's my fault because I wasn't posting but you know like I had videos that had ads but like I just wasn't making a lot of money from that but I hope that this year you know like things change I hope that you know I will be more consistent I will give you guys better content I will you know keep you engaged answer all your questions entertain you anything that you want to see so yeah feel free to tell me everything you would want to see on my channel feel free to drop suggestions of the kind of videos you would like to see i know a lot of you you know have questions about moving to lithuania or schooling in lithuania but i want to mention that you know like i did not school in lithuania okay and all the information i give you i probably you know have to research it online or find someone who's schooled here and ask them these questions if you have questions about you know how to apply for um school how to apply for visa please check 
these videos I already mentioned the entire it can get a bit exhausting you know people asking you questions you've already addressed but that being said please 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 I am back if you are not subscribed to my channel I beg you please subscribe please share my videos with your friends with your family with your enemies tell them that Amy is back yeah tell them that Marach is back to YouTube and that she is ready to give you guys back to back content I am really excited for this year you guys I hope you're as excited as me I hope that I continue to make you happy I continue to inform you I continue to entertain you because that's really what I plan to do this year and I need your support I need you to watch my videos I need you to share my videos I need you to talk about my videos I need you to like it okay because like when you do these things it helps promote my channel it makes people know that you know like there's something useful on this channel and then people watch it okay and then i make money and then i am motivated which is the plan you know <laughs> i'm also going to be filming like a question and answer you know video so i'm going to ask you guys if you have any questions you want me to film any questions about lithuania you want me to answer please leave them in the description box i'll also make a post you know where you can leave the questions you can also leave the questions for me on instagram on twitter and i will be sure to address them again thank you thank you thank you till i see you next time bye yes tell all your friends that amy is You have no idea how many things I've moved around in this house to make this video. <laughs> this is exactly why you need to watch this video. Okay, cuts.